My dear the doctor called me, he said the checkup we did, everything was alright, nothing is wrong that we can't get a baby. My love, so why can't we give birth if everything is alright and nothing is wrong? I don't even know what to do again, since 5 years we got married we have not get baby still, we have go everywhere but still no solutions, pastors has taking our money and herbalist but still no show, my friends I get married before them all are having a child, why only us, I'm even tired. My love, don't give up. And be tired, the Lord will do. God will do? Which God will do? Are we not praying enough? Visit mountains over mountains, doing all kinds of fasting, but does he give us any child? If God will do he has done it already, we have went to many pastors so if God didn't listen our prayers, don't he answer the prayers of the pastors? Forget about God will do and let's see what we can do to solve this out. Oh my dear. Don't talk like that for God time is the best. Which time? You better shut up there woman, are we not wait enough? Which time is good for us again? In law, I welcome you. You welcome who? Give birth this is what's important, my son has married you five years now, you have not bring any child here, all you know is eating and sleeping here, no use of you. I regret allowed my son to get married to you. In law, it's God who gifts a child, am not the one who give, so am still waiting upon him. Barren woman, waiting upon to when? God help others who help themselves, help yourself first and God will help you, am tired of seeing you at my son house with no used. Give me away before you see how I deal with you young woman. How are you doing Akosua? Pastor please by the grace of God and you? Oh by the grace of God, am doing good as well, we thank God. Amen. Pastor what my law come to do at my house yesterday was not fair at all, he come there to insulting me and calling me barren woman, pastor now I'm tired and I feel like giving up, I can't stand on this anymore please. Madam please don't be discouraged or give up, God time is the best, he does it in his right and good time, just calm down and believe in him okay, hold on your faith my sister, I believe one day God will bless you with one. Pastor I have heard you. I'm still hoping for that, because now how things are going I feel like giving up serious. Oh no don't my dear sister, keep holding on your faith okay, I and my wife will are still backing you peoples in our prayers, it's just a matter of time, faith and being patience. Mom how are you doing today? I'm doing good my son you. I'm doing good too by the grace of God. My son so as you are not getting a child, are you not worrying? Why can't you stand up and found out the solution? Or are you comfortable about that my son? Mom we have prayer enough, we have do all we can but still, so I don't even know what to do again. I am your son and I can't see you anymore in this life, it's a disgrace to me and the family, so I know one Juja man I will take you there and I know he will help you get a child, he is so powerful. This is so little to him. Mom if you say so then tomorrow I will come and take me there. We have went to all prayers meeting in mountains we have not get some, so we will went there and try it too. Every child is a child, either from water, God or Juju man, all our child. All I want is to holding on my baby boy. Good my dear son, then if God permit tomorrow I will wait for you you. Woman, what bring you here to my shrine today? Nana please this is my son, he has got married five years now no child. So I bring him here to help him get a child so that me too can have a grandson, thank you. For the child is very easy work for me here, but he must come with her wife so that I do something for them to get a child, so go and bring him and her wife together here. Okay Nana, so I will bring them together here to help them, I know how powerful you are Nana. Good, you can leave now, don't look back as you are going, look forward. My dear. You know we have try and do all we can but still we are not getting any child. Yesterday when I went to my mom place, he sent me to one juju man, and the man said he could help us get a child, but I need to bring you with me so that he can do something for us to be free from this so I'm telling you to prepare for that, I'm tired of this. Ah my husband, are you forget you a Christian and now visiting juju men's for help? Why can't we wait a little on Zion? What are you saying? Are we not wait enough? We have do all we can. Even word of God said we should test all the spirits, so you better shut up there and prepare for us to go. My dear it can't be possible, 
I can't follow you to that shrine, no I can't leave God and follow others gods, I know the good Lord am abiding in him, one day he will show up and glorify himself to me, so I can't go with you please I'm sorry but that's the truth fact. Either you follow me go there, or I send you here in my house, I'm now tired of you okay, you can't tell me what to do in my house. My dear please all our food has finished. So please give me some money to go market buy foodstuffs please. Me giving you money to buy food? For you barren woman get some to eat? It's impossible, you are going crazy right? Do what is needful first. Ah my husband, are you now calling me Barrenus? Are you not Barrenus? Barren woman like me, leave me alone to go my work, nonsense. Pastor now I'm getting tired and I feel like giving up on my faith. Oh no what happened my sister? My husband said I should follow him to Juju man, but you know I'm Christian so I refuse to go. From that day I refuse to go with him. He has started treating me so badly, now he doesn't even give me chop money. When I ask him about me, he will just insulting and calling me barren woman I'm tired man of God. Oh no, this is so bad. How can your husband who is Christian do that? If God permit tomorrow I will come and talk to him, you don't worry everything shall be well okay my dear sister. Okay please pastor, then please come and talk to him because now I don't even know what to do again. The Lord is in control, just calm down my dear sister, everything shall be well okay. How are you my brother? Doing good pastor and you? By the grace of God I'm doing good as well. Mr. Iwasa yesterday your wife came and tell me that, your mother said you should go see Juju, but before that you need to go with your wife for the Juju man to do anything for you both. When I heard that, I was so disappointed on you, how come a Christian like you take this step? So I came here to talk to you, this is why I'm here. Pastor hope you have children's? Yes sure I have. Pastor did you know that you are a bad person? You have children's and you don't want me to have children's right? You have come to your house to just speak this nonsense. If I know this is what you will say I should not even give you a chair. Oh my brother why are you talking like that? It's stupid things that you are saying they're telling me. Ah uh, I have married her 5 years now no single child and you want me to be happy on that. Please just leave my house before you get me angry. Oh please come down let talk. It's me pastor my brother. Pastor so what should I do? Master get out in my house now before I dare with you. So you get mine to complain me to that pastor right? It's over between us now. Get out from my house I don't need you again barren woman like you. Useless woman with no used. I'm not feeling well since my husband sent me from his house. I think I need to see doctor tomorrow if God permit. Be happy mothers. Joy has come home. Doctor please what? What has happened that I should be happy? Madam after checkup, we saw that you are pregnant two months. Doctor you say what? I said you are pregnant two months baby. Ah oh God thank you for glory yourself in my life. Thank you for silent all my enemies. Glory and honor be your name Lord. You are so faithful to fail Lord. May your name be praise always Lord. What are you doing in my house again after you sent me out young man? I am so sorry my dear. It was my mother who was pushing me to do all this thing. I'm very sorry dear please forgive me for my careless and let us build the relationship once again please. I have forgive you but I want to tell you this. If you want your relationship or marriage to stand, don't listen to what others are saying. No all advice are good some advice can lead you to destruction. Thank you for forgive me. I promise that it will never happen again.